Dale was outraged, displaying unacceptable behavior and aggressively confronting his father. Stop right there. Dale, don't make a scene here. I, I'm making a scene? Whose idea was this anyway? It's like you ousted me. Am I outcast here? Who am I to this family, huh? Stop it. Son, you have no business coming in here. So step outside. Come on outside. Let's talk. Let us settle this alone. No, let me settle this with Henry. He has some explaining to do here, and I need a more specific answer. Don't address dad that way. He is still your father. Show respect. Look around you, son. Everyone's becoming restless and nervous thinking of what you will do next. Aren't you ashamed of your ridiculous behavior? Leave now, let us talk later. The members of the board became uncomfortable with the scene that they thought of leaving. Mr. Henry Morrison called his security to take Dale out of the conference hall. Rainy Martin moved the guests to the guest hall and told the servers to offer them some drinks and food. Then he said, do not leave yet. The ceremony is not yet over. Dale collared Rain and shouted, How could you do this to your own brother? I trusted you. I thought you cared for me. But what are you doing? You made me a laughing stock among the members. Mr. Henry spoke in a loud tone. Randall Joseph, your brother has nothing to do with this. It was I who called everyone for this event except you. Dale was hurt and cried after what Mr. Henry said. He couldn't control his tears out of anger and disappointment. Why dad? Why are you doing this to me? Do you hate me that much? Enough to embarrass me in front of these people? You're a mean and obnoxious old man. Mr. Henry reply, I couldn't trust you anymore, Dale. You've done so many horrible things that even a father couldn't accept. You do more harm unless you accept your wrongdoings, son. What are you saying, Dad? What wrongdoings that Dale has done? Why don't you tell us so? I can help Dale work things out. Only Dale knows what I'm talking about. Can you tell Rainy what we both know, Dale? I don't know what you're talking about, Henry. You're making things up just to justify your reason. And I hate what you're doing to me. I hate you, Henry Morrison. Rainy felt his blood boil over. Dale's disrespect to his father. He held Dale's collar and yelled. Stop this instance. Josh, you're coming overboard. Am I? How about you? Ha, huh? after what Henry did to you, you're now buddies, huh? Monica dumped you because of what your father did. He stole your girl, brother. Wake up. Stop this right now. Josh, that issue is between me and dad alone. Leave now, or I might be forced to push you out of my sight. Ariane, who had been in their presence, observing and listening to their arguments, was stunned upon hearing the name Josh from Rain. Ariane panicked. She got scared. Slowly, she slid by the door and ran out quickly to breathe. She got out of the villa and stood in the garden, collecting her thoughts. Dale is Josh? How come? I've known him since kindergarten as Dale Morrison. Where in the world did he got that name? If Dale is Josh, does it mean he was the masked man who had something to do with Jesse and her boyfriend? Was he also the man in the motorcycle whom Eric had encountered causing his death? If he was the one who orchestrated all this, then it was him who was living in that Ridge Heights villa. But how? He was confined all his life in Wildwood. He just recovered from his paralysis only recently, before he joined Rain in the company. Rain never called him Josh, and never had he signed with the name Randall Joseph on papers. But why Josh now? I've been patient with all your odious behavior and what is most disgusting you've done is put us all in scandal. Now get out of my face or I wouldn't know what I can do to you. Raymond was summoned by range to get his boss in the conference hall, bring his security along and hold him till I'm done with the ceremony. Master Josh, please calm down. Let's leave this room. You're causing a commotion here, sir. Raymond brought Dale out of the conference with the rest of his security. Ariane is getting confused about Dale's real name, and a growing suspicion begins to emerge about Dale. Now that Ariane knows Dale's true identity, what measures will she take to ensure Rain doesn't discover her plans? Part 42 follows.